Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Hey, a while ago I showed a presentation and video. It's called the gas stove cornucopia and I ended on this stove. So I ended on the Grill Boss dual fuel stove. This is fueled with butane at this moment. And I want to show you my stoves, but I'm going to do what's called the gas stove cornucopia strikes back. So I'm going to show some innovations here, all right? So stay tuned. So anyways, this runs on butane, you've seen it. Uh, has great simmering capabilities and it comes with this pressure regulator for propane. So what's really cool is if you want to see it running propane, I've got one over here for you to see. So over here, propane stove running on propane. The regulator is right here. The hose goes inside of the stove. It runs on less expensive propane. You get great performance. You can simmer it. The regulator is extremely important there. So that's awesome. What's really new here is right here, this propane tank. This is a refillable propane tank by Flame King that I just got today. It holds 220 grams of propane inside of it. So that's, that's pretty cool. You can take that and put it in a car and you can take the stove with you and you're good to go. You know, you can have this used for several days of cooking and you'll be having a good time with this and it's lightweight. So you're just taking a small little tank. So 220 grams, uh, when it's full, it weighs 695 grams. So that means that the empty weight of this is 745 grams. So it's not something you're gonna backpack on a long trip, but it is easily portable, okay? Over here, <clears throat> this is the refillable butane tank that I've shown you before. It's relatively similar in size to the butane tank um, so the propane tank over here, uh, it's you know a little bit lighter. It holds um, butane instead of propane, of course. This is a heavy-duty refillable tank. Okay, I'm making these videos so that you can look at these things, and you may or may not want these, so it's okay. You may be using disposable butane tanks. You may even be refilling them. I wouldn't recommend it, but it's uh, that's okay if you want to try to do that. I've chosen to use this and I wanted to make sure that I can show you a heavy duty refillable tank. What I normally do is I just use these butane tanks here, which are pretty inexpensive. And then I just refill this tank and I use it with a lantern or like this particular Buellen stove here. So this is a Buellen <coughs> uh, butane stove. It's uh, compact. It's called a remote stove because the fuel is remote from that. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can just turn it on and run it. It's real easily operatable. Uh, you can definitely get down to a low simmer mode. Okay. Um, one of the things that I thought I'd show you is that that fuel line going across the flame vaporizes the fuel before it goes out to the jets. So what's really cool about that is you can turn this fuel tank upside down and liquid feed it when you're in frozen conditions. Butane is uh, one of those fuels that is boiling at temperatures above 0 0.5 degrees Celsius. So when you're at freezing temperatures, the performance of this thing starts to really degrade. So that's why people liquid feed their stoves. Um, the problem is as you remove butane from here, this tank gets colder and colder and the performance gets worse because now if you're in freezing temperatures, you're actually lowering the temperature of butane below its boiling point. So you end up with a performance problem. That's why it's also, you see a lot of people who take these adapters right here and they run their butane stoves with propane because they get better performance out of propane. Propane is one of those gases that will boil at negative 42 degrees. But the problem with that is that this does not have a regulator in it. So you're putting extremely high pressures into a butane stove. So something like 800 kilopascals in here in terms of pressure for something that's designed for 200 kilopascals. 200 kilopascals is 30 PSI in Imperial. So that's why you need a regulator. This is a high pressure propane regulator that allows for high pressure to go in it and low pressure comes out. And this particular piece here is at 200 kilopascals or the same pressure as butane, 30 PSI. 
okay? So you can pass propane through here and it acts like butane on this stove, which gives you the ability to do things like simmer. So we'll turn it on. And now we can bring it down to like a simmer mode. But what's different about this is if you see, this is the regulator on the right. I've got a much more compact version of this. And if we go closer into it, you'll see some safety features that were added onto it. We have this on off valve, it's a ball valve. So that lets you turn off the fuel so that you can keep everything here turned off while you're connecting all your pieces because you don't want fuel to come out of the connector here while you're connecting it. So I double uh, valved this thing. So I have a valve here and here, so I have ways to shut it off. The good thing about these hoses is when they're under pressure, they automatically seal. So there's nothing coming out of here and there's pressure on that hose. Okay, I just re turned that off. And if I put this in here, you'll see that the residual pressure inside the regulator and the hose still carries some gas in it. All right, so that's really nice to have that type of self-sealing hose. But up here, come in closer for a second. Over here, this is a Lindell valve type connector and that's actually kind of hard to find. This came from uh, a fitting on a, a grease gun. So there's a company that sells these and that's a UNEF connector or a Lindell valve connector. And over there, this is your propane connector. This is your valve to turn it on or off. This is the regulator, high pressure regulator. And I got to put some little bumpers on here so it won't scratch anything once put down on this counter. And then of course the connector. And what's really cool about this is you do not need any other types of adapters to go from propane to butane because they're all here and they're fit and they're in place. All this right here is off the shelf. And if you want to, you can take this and connect it to an even larger propane tank like a barbecue grill. So imagine putting this in your car and keeping it in there and pulling it out when you go hiking or camping or something like that, or you're at a picnic and you have all your little stoves here, you can pull these out and you can use this splitter. So this splitter allows you to connect in at the top here. I've got this little plastic base here, so you could just easily connect this. We'll make sure it's turned off. And you can put this on top of there, and then you can feed three other devices. So I can have two, one here, one there, and one at the top, and you're having a good day for uh, a picnic, right? Okay, so you've seen this, but then I really wanted to show you the final piece here, which is the backpack portable camping stove right here. This, these are very lightweight propane tanks. They only carry 50 grams of propane, but you can carry this and go snowshoeing. You can have this extra line here and put that over sitting in the snow somewhere and have a meal on this and be able to use this. Okay, so a while ago I created this. This regulator probably looks very similar. It came off of that stove over there. Uh, I ordered a replacement regulator. And so what's interesting about this is I had to cut the hose and I put a barb on there with that UNEF connector, the Lindell valve type connector. So what's unique about this is uh, this is probably a one of a kind or something that's kind of hard to produce. So that's why I show you this. This is uh, what I made first. And then over here is a better, more refined and safer version. As you can see here, there's no on off valve here. So this has to be the very last thing that you connect to the propane tank and the very first thing that you disconnect from the propane tank before you disconnect all these other parts because there's no locking mechanism here. Okay, this stove has a small regulator inside of it for butane. So if you're in high pressures, like uh, when you have high temperatures outside or at lower temperatures, it'll maintain a pretty consistent <coughs> uh, pressure. So this uh, stove is meant for lower pressures and that's why you have the regulator in there. It's receiving higher pressure and it brings it down to a lower pressure. 
The problem is you can't run this on propane without damaging it unless you regulate the propane fuel. And so this right here is a 100 kilopascal regulator. So about 15 PSI for people who are reading Imperial. <clears throat> and that's feeding the propane into this delicate valve, which is perfectly fine. This stove is meant to be working with 200 kilopascals, but in this case, it's receiving 100 and it's working just fine. So here it is, works real well, has a nice consistent flame. You can definitely go down to simmer mode or you can go really high and it works real well. Okay, so that's why I wanted to show you this. The other thing is, what's really cool is you just kind of lightly screw that on there. You can weigh the tank with this jet boil piece here. You just you attach that on here and you lift it and you can weigh it. And then basically what that does is, you know, you can take a look at the weights on there and you know how much fuel you have left in here. The important thing is when you're doing Frankenstein experiments with this, you definitely want to have this leak detector with you. It helps because it'll detect leakage here and here, or maybe you've turned off your stove and you thought you didn't turn it off. So it's been really useful. And the other thing is these type of connectors have a, a little bit of a longer piece of metal that goes down in there. So they tend to spray a little bit of fuel when you first put them on or off here, if you're not careful. Whereas over here, this type of connector right here is um, it's got a little bit of a shorter connector on the inside there that goes into that centerpiece. So when you put this on here, there's very little propane that sprays out. As you see, that was it. There was nothing else. It just kind of made a little bit of a hiss and that was it. Whereas the other one tends to hiss a lot more than this does. So that metal piece right there is just slightly shorter. So the nice thing is all these little rubber things, I just lay it down, look at that. It's not scratching my countertop, so my wife won't be upset with me. And by the way, I just got married, look at that. So I wanna thank my wife for filming all this. This is the gas stove cornucopia strikes back. Thank you everybody for watching and I appreciate it. Comment, let me know what you think. Take care everybody.